It was game two between the Nuggets and the Suns, and the Suns were shining bright. It wasn't just CP3. It was Book. It was Aiton. It was Bridges. It was a dominant performance. However, Mr. Rose, these two games have been all about the point guard, Chris Paul. Everybody's got a little light under the sun, under the sun. That's what you just described, right? Didn't you see a team that had, what, seven or eight people in double figures? Zip. Did you see the point guard have his third playoff game with 15 assists and zero turnovers? That's the most in the history of the NBA playoffs. Zero turnovers. And I got to say something for a lot of fans and media members. That does not mean that he was the MVP of the regular season. It means that he's a terrific leader that's leading his team in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. This is a different season. And this game was all about him. This is the Chris Paul game. Okay, his fingerprints were all on it. You see Aiden down low, yep. basically playing the Joker to a standstill stats-wise. You see Miguel Bridges shining on the big stage, uh, running the floor in transition, getting and one dunks. Mm -hmm. Devin Booker playing within himself, not having the four shots. Devin Booker, elite scorer. You know what he gets a chance to do? Catch and shoot the basketball. First time in his career. How about that? Gets to catch and shoot the Somebody's creating shots for him. Kawhi and Paul George looking at him like, man, must be <laughs> nice. Must be nice, yeah. M yeah, must yeah, be yeah, nice yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, again, Chris Paul has done a terrific job of stamping his signature. And the guard play of the Phoenix Suns is so very outstanding, it's just crushing the Denver Nuggets. And what I love about what Chris Paul does for this team is they don't need, like, a Donovan Mitchell 45 points from Book. No. They don't need these huge games like some of these other teams need from their star players like the Mavs. They've got Chris Paul there who, as you mentioned, distributes to everybody, gets everybody double figures. However, Nikola Jokic, newly minted as the MVP, you know, you said that him and Aiton are playing each other to a standstill. I don't know if I would say that. However, he needs some help. He needs some help out there, and he's not getting it in this series. And Mike Malone is not happy about that. And here is what Coach Mike Malone had to say after the game. Uh, so obviously Chris Paul doesn't see us. He doesn't feel us. Uh, and we're not impacting what he's trying to do in any way, shape, or form, Ashley. Um, and I think you could say that pretty much for the Phoenix Suns roster. Uh, they've had their way with us uh, on both ends of the court. I felt we quit tonight, uh, which is something you never want to see. Um, so I, I guess for game three, I'm just going to try to find guys that will at least go out there and leave it all on the line. I like what he did there. What did he do? The coach is acknowledging that my guy, the Joker, just won MVP. And he basically scored just as much as the other four starters. Mm. That's unacceptable. So he know I ain't talking to him. He know I'm talking to everybody else. And if that comment had a name attached to it, if I had to put a, a label on it, it would be Michael Porter Jr. Really? Because I was watching the game extremely close. And a lot of those high pick and rolls with Bridges and Chris Paul, you know that why there were confusion? You know why there was confusion? Why's that? Because Michael Porter Jr. didn't want to get stuck on Chris Paul. Mm. He was getting picked on defensively. Mm. And you know, if anybody knows about somebody being picked on defensively, <laughs> I know. Okay? I know. And the thing is, when I say Aiden played him to a standstill, if you recall, Aiden got two fouls. Early, just like I wanted him to. Right? Just he, like I wanted okay. him to. That's what I said. The Jokic needs to get him in foul trouble. Didn't do it in game one, did it game two. However, when he came back into the game, he played foul-free basketball. That's the standstill I'm talking about. You want the Joker to then take advantage of that and use that aggression to attack him and either get him in foul trouble even further or take those layups and dunks. It was great to see Will Barton return. The Nuggets will play with a sense of effort and a sense of urgency when they return home. Monte Morris is going to play better. Where's Capazzo? Where's your man? That's your man. That was That's my man. your man. Once upon a time, Capazzo was my man. However, okay. just, you know, I'm a die easy it was fan. all good Me just a week ago. Up. I think it was one for seven in this one. <laughs> he had, he, first of all, let me just say, my man's Defense. He had Dame in the first series and then Chris Paul in the second series. Not exactly a defensive stopper, Capazzo. However, he needs to play better. As you mentioned, Morris needs to play better. And Michael Porter Jr., I guess he's got back issues. That's the only thing that makes sense because he performs so much better. When you look at his numbers after Murray got hurt, 
when you look at his numbers in that section, when Murray was hurt until this series, he was performing great. And then this series, he is not. It has to be an injury. But also, too, he's fallen a little bit into the young player syndrome, which is when I'm making shots, then I'm then I'm engaged with the rest of my skills in my game. Mm -hmm. When I'm not making shots, then I'm kind of just out there. I believe Michael Porter Jr. has a big game three. 